cloud, night clouds rolling along. guys welcome back to the channel so I did not get a lot of footage from yesterday but we was honestly only at the park for maybe two hours and then we left decided to come home it was a very long journey home because we made a few stops we ate it at Applebee's which I just wanted to quickly <laughs> kind of rant about that because the last probably two Applebee's me and my husband has ate at has been awful I don't I know that they're they're like low on help or whatever it's just for some reason been our experience and we used to love Applebee's and like now I'm just refused to eat at any more of them because oh, the food was so bad yesterday it wasn't even so much even the food um, because normally I'm not the type of person to complain a whole lot about my food unless it's I mean yesterday was just crazy there were so many flies in this particular Larry Applebee's that was just like, I've never seen anything like that. Like they were so excessive that we couldn't, I couldn't eat my food without having to shoo a fly away every like couple of seconds. It would not like leave my food be. And there was like a couple of them. It wasn't just like one fly. It was like a few flies. It was so gross. So yeah, I told my husband no more. I'm done with Applebee's. I think they lost a lot of their help and that's like the biggest issue is they don't have like proper staffing. And I know that that's not like whatever. It is what it is. That's like with a lot of places. But I know like um, when we was in um, Altoona, we ate at the Longhorn Steakhouse. It was so good. We ate at Chili's. It was also very good. Just a couple restaurants that me and my husband eat at that are always very good is the Longhorn, Texas Roadhouse, Chili's, Outback is normally good. Um, those are just like a few of our favorite ones. But for some reason, Applebee's just doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> I don't know. So we're not eating at those anymore. But I wanted to rant about that. But So we ate there and then we had to make a stop at the grocery store because today we're having a cookout for my husband's birthday. Yesterday was his birthday, but today we're having a cookout with his kids. They're going to come up and... Um, we're gonna have a cookout so I was thinking about I got a lot of stuff to do today though I have to clean my husband has to mow the yard the grass is so long um so we gotta do that um yeah it's gonna be a busy busy day so I thought I would continue the vlog I don't know um this would just be like a random vlog but I need to take my laptop to my parents here after a while and upload the the vlog that I did get done for you guys while I was there um, I never got a chance to upload it though because yesterday when I finished editing we was about to check out of our room so I couldn't upload it while I was there which I wanted to do that but oh well. <laughs> 
So yeah, and also I have to get back to my weight loss journey. I did eat a couple of like junky things, not like really bad. I feel like I did pretty good while I was on vacay. I tried to eat still pretty healthy, but like had a few junk snacks, I guess, candy, stuff like that, but I didn't try, I didn't overdo it. So I don't know, hopefully, hopefully we're still good. Good morning. He is already full of energy, wanting to go. He wanted to go back to the room this morning. He wanted to go back to Altoona. I think he had a good time. Did you have fun? Did you have fun when we went on our trip? Did you? Room. Room? You want to go back to the room? You missed the room? <laughs> I think he was happy to be home yesterday. When I was so happy last night <laughs> to be back to my routine last night. Um, it was nice. I took a nice shower. I had some just like me time. It was so needed. Room, room, room. All right. So I just got done finish finishing cleaning, and I'm about to work on my husband's birthday cake. So I'm gonna do that. It is 10:20 now. Oh God, you guys. I felt like it's been a long morning. My husband's still cutting the grass. So I was happy I was able to get the inside done before he got done because I know he'd want to come in and sit down. I think he's almost done. So we about got done at the same time. But um, yeah, Cole's just been running around going nuts, <laughs> playing, I don't know. But at least I was able to get everything done cleaning wise. Um, so yeah, I'm about to make this cake. Um, you're gonna cut your angel food into like chunks is what you're gonna wanna do. So you're just gonna wanna cut this up. Um, trifle glass. And my grandma actually gave me this. I think it's super cute and pretty. Um, but this makes the perfect kind of like cake to have one of these glass trifles. Like it's so pretty when you're done with them. If you want to make them look pretty anyways. Which I'm going to try to. I mean it doesn't have to look perfect. So I'm just going to continue cutting my stuff and layering the bottom. And then I'll show you guys what I do next. So I like to use this. Not everybody might not like this or might not like to use it, but me and my husband like it. Um, it's just called like strawberry glaze and you can find it in the produce like um, where they'll have where the strawberries are and um, it's really good. I don't know. I like it. It gives it an extra like touch. It's kind of like a jelly type thing. You don't have to use this if you don't like it, but um, the next thing that we're going to be using is some Cool Whip and then we're going to use I just have blueberries and strawberries. blueberries and I'm going to go the cool whip kind of messed up on me too so I'm just going to take some blueberries and I'm going to line the outer edge on this layer with them um kind of like this and my 
like I said, I was a little sloppy here, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna eat it. Who freaking cares? She's overflowing, man. Looks good. Cannot wait to have some. But anyways, I'm gonna put some plastic wrap over it and put it in the fridge. And then I'm gonna make prep my other stuff that I have here for the cookout. So I have some suddenly pasta. If you guys have never tried this, you have to try it. it it's definitely a hit at cookouts. At least my husband's kids love it. And even my family has tried it and liked it. So I'm making the ranch and bacon. And we also add cube cube cheese and sometimes we add the little mini pepperonis. I don't have the mini pepperonis this time though. But I'm going to do that. And then with this one, my husband's daughter actually told me to add... Um, Italian dressing so we're gonna give that a shot today because it, it calls for um, vegetable oil but we're gonna do the Italian dressing today and see how it is but she says it's really good so that's what I'm making today I got these glass dishes and I'm gonna serve them in and then um, I'm also going to make some baked beans I just decided at the last minute that I think I have a can of them in there so I might make some so I wanted to give you a little rundown of what the freak just happened to me about an hour ago because it was hilarious but it also wasn't funny to me when it happened because I was really really upset because I smacked my head off the side of the house and it really hurt I hit the back of my head which is still sore but um, I feel fine though I don't feel like I have a concussion or anything but um, I mean, I'm sure it looked hilarious as well, but um, you guys know I have these like swivel chill swivel chairs back here. Well, <laughs> I was just casually sitting here eating Cheetos and I started to recline because they swivel a little bit so you can recline back on them. And I went to recline just like a little bit and the freaking chair snapped. And I flew backwards. I smacked my head off the side of the house right there. And I was like pinned in between here and the freezer. And my legs and like the bottom part of me was up in the air. Because when the chair like snapped off I was just like straight back. And I couldn't even move. My husband luckily was out here. He come and helped me get up because my head was like it hurt. Like when I smacked my head like I hit it pretty hard. But, um, I mean, I was really pissed off when it happened, I'm not gonna lie. I was, like, about to take the chair and throw it. That's how mad I was. Like I said, we're having... Hi, Ellers. What are you doing? What are you doing? Cole did not nap. I really do think Cole is done with napping. I don't... I have not been successfully able to get him to nap here at the house for, like, a couple weeks. But maybe one time out of that. So, I just let him have quiet time in his room for a little while. And if I need to get anything done or I just relax for like a little bit, um, I do that. And it does help because I still have to have my me time. I have to have some me time somewhere in the day because just have to have it. Um, it's much needed. So I'm going to clean the top of this freezer off because um, I was thinking about putting... If we don't put our food out here, I wanted to eat outside since we're having a cookout this evening. I did move the ch the table down there to the picnic table because that's where I originally wanted to eat. But um, we will see what we're going to do. back these benches off the front porch <laughs> Cole's playing with the water hose at the moment um, which I'm about to go put up what is it is it yellow yellow we're building a yellow house you gonna help me put it together you gonna help me put a house together we're gonna make a house you can't, it's okay. See, there's nothing on there. See? Yep. You gonna help me build a house? Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, God. So hopefully the porch dries before they get here, but I probably should have done that earlier today, but I tried to take, like, a um, push mop to it, which my old push mop to my old house broke. 
I just noticed like the the velcro things was off the back of it I'm sure I could buy new ones but I just was like I don't use it anyways so it's fine but yeah my husband just went to get in the shower he's gonna cook up the hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill and I just put my baked beans in the oven so yeah Cole like I said um, we're putting a little we're gonna build a, like a little house out of these blocks um, tomorrow we have to go to my uncle's um, funeral service, which since he was cremated. Is what is it? What's this? He I says what? White. Yes. Are you? Is that your house? Did you build a house? Oh boy, that's a nice house. <laughs> what, is you, what is it? Oh, purple. Yeah, we're gonna build a purple house. We have to go to my husband, or we have to go to my uncle's, since I guess it technically he was cremated, so I guess it's just like a, mem it's a memorial service is what it is, funeral, same thing I guess, but um, we have that to go to tomorrow at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so um, yeah. Good morning guys, it is the next day after the cookout, so um... We had a pretty good cookout. <laughs> there was a couple of things that didn't go as planned. Saturday, I got my uncle's funeral service today. And right now it's like eight something in the morning. We're actually gonna go to um, a town that's like 30 minutes away that we always go to that has Walmart and all that. We are going to go put new tires on my car today because we've had the new tires for a really long time. We were just trying to wear the ones down and now one of my tires leaks air all the time. So it's just time to get it done. So. Hey guys, so today is Sunday. It is the next day. I did not get to vlog anymore yesterday. It was a pretty busy afternoon. Um, today I think Cole is going to get to go to my grandparents' house for a couple hours. So I might try... Well, I'm going to do some things this morning because I just feel like there's just a lot of things that need done. But I might film a get it all done with me video or something like a cleaning motivational video um, here in a little bit. But... Um, I wanted to tell you guys really quick, my battery's going dead, so I need to charge you guys. But I wanted to tell you about my dream last night. So, yesterday was my uncle's service. Well, last night I had a dream about him. And it was at our old house, if you guys remember where we lived, which is now my husband's daughter's house. Well, my uncle and his wife, that was like their first home together. So, I was dreaming that I was walking down the road like to the house and I went inside the house and there was my uncle um, he was by himself he had legs because I don't I think I told you guys in like some previous videos that he is half of his legs had to be amputated because he was type 1 diabetes diabetic and um, he got a really bad infection so he had no legs up to like his knees so he had legs he was definitely Night. what Night. okay yeah he was definitely on the younger side like um just i mean he looked great so i was kind of shocked to see him but i gave him a hug um i never really got the chance to like tell him goodbye um i didn't want to see him when he was in the shape that he was in but I really do feel like this dream was closure to say goodbye because I've had dreams in the past about deceased one deceased loved ones and um he also told me in the dream like he was telling me a couple things um another little part of the dream that I remember is that he took me back to the room which was Cold's old room um, and there was a CD player, like a boom box back there, and he was, he was telling me that he made this CD for Hannah, which is his wife, and two songs were playing, and this is so random, you guys, I don't even know what it means, you know, because dreams are just, they're weird sometimes, but one of the dreams was Avril Lavigne, and it was, um, I'm with you. So, I think just the words of that song, I'm with you, um, maybe symbolize that he'll always be with everybody. I don't know. But um, the other song was, I can't really remember exactly which one, but I think it was by the Goo Goo Dolls. 
I don't know if it was Iris or um, I think that was the one that it was. I don't rem I don't know, but I just remember hearing. I definitely know the one was Avril Lavigne because I heard that. And I only got to hear two songs of this CD. And the CD was also, I remember seeing 2013 written on this CD. So I don't know if maybe something had happened in 2013, maybe during his and um, Hannah's life together. Um, but he told me that he was making, he made this CD for Hannah. Um, I don't know you guys, bizarre, bizarre, bizarre. But I got to hug my uncle, told him that I loved him and um, he told me that he was no longer in pain. And that was like one of the, that's like the number one thing I remember him saying. And I knew that when I was leaving that that was, you know, he was somewhere else that I wasn't. Um, like he had moved on. But I, it's bizarre. I just wanted to tell you guys because I've had so many dreams that represent, um, like saying goodbye to ones that have passed on like right after they pass um and that normally has uh, that's happened to me now three times um i had one after my granddad passed away my dad's dad um i saw my granddad in like a field i believe it was and there was like this big barn there and people were having a party like they were celebrating and it was so pretty like the field was so beautiful and i remember just thinking man i'm i'm lucky to be t attending this party this is so like amazing there was tables and just a lot of people and um, everybody was having just like a great time and then my granddad was there and um my granddad always wore this one pacific hat and he had this hat on his head and um he told me that he was happy now i remember him saying that and it was just like a farewell goodbye pretty much because when my granddad passed i was actually at the beach so i never really i did get to say goodbye like a i think like a week before that i gave him a hug and stuff but like i didn't know that he was gonna die um so i just felt like it was like a another farewell to a loved one that had passed and then um, the third dream, or the other dream, because I said I had three all together, was from my Uncle Darv. Um, not long after he passed, because I never got to say goodbye to him either. I, um, because his, his was so sudden, like, I don't know, like, nobody just, it just, nobody knew that he was going to die. Um, but, I don't even know where we was um, in the dream when I was saying goodbye to him, but I did get to give him a hug and told him that I loved him and he told me the same thing. And I, it's so bizarre, you guys. Like this stuff happened like right after they had passed. And like yesterday was my uncle's service and I dreamt about him last night. So I don't know. I, I really do believe in all the supernatural and you guys have been following me that long. Like I totally believe in all of that stuff and I believe in God and, and everything. So I just, <laughs> I want to, you know, I believe that they're in a better place and they're in heaven and um, maybe they were saying goodbye because I didn't get the chance to directly say goodbye. Um, so makes me emotional because when I woke up I was actually crying because it just seemed so real that I was just talking to him and um, seeing him like he looked so good I don't know but anyways so yeah that's what's going on today I don't know how much of this video that I've already got filmed I'm gonna kind of like maybe get to a chance to edit and put it together today just to see but I'm sorry that it's just so blah but I am going to also like I said film like a motivational cleaning video today I need to shave Otis too because his hair is getting really long. Okay, so I'm the worst vlogger ever, but I'm gonna go try to get my walk in. Um, I have forgot about my like Fitbit thing, but um, I think I just it's 9:40 and 43 in the morning today. So far has been kind of productive. Um, we, I got my car cleaned out this morning, and then I went to my PO box, which I'm gonna do a little package opening here from Sharla. Sharla, my friend on here on YouTube, sent me um love meg's cleaner to try out it's like one of her concentrate things that you mix with water in a bottle so i need to actually get a spray bottle though because i'm not sure if i have one but um i'm excited to like 
try it out um she was nice enough to send that to me so i didn't have to spend the money and buy it myself if so i'm gonna see if i like it or not but i, I still don't know if i'm going to purchase love meg's cleaner um i think it's just a little expensive for my taste but I'm so grateful that Sharla sent that to me to give me a try. So thank you so much, Sharla, for sending that. I really, really appreciate that. And um, I'm excited to give the cleaner a try. Hopefully I like it. Um, she said that she liked it. it. Smells good. But she also even said that she's old fashioned like me. And I'm old fashioned when it comes to cleaning. And I like just like bleach and Dawn and just like the old fashioned cleaners that are way, way less expensive. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go. I was just about, about forgot to tell you guys, but Cole's actually in his room right now, laying down. Um, he wanted to go to bed. Um, this has happened one other time when he got really tired and didn't nap. Like yesterday, he didn't get to nap because he was at my grandparents. And I told you guys I've been having trouble with Cole napping. But he was like really cranky today, like really extra cranky. So I'm not really sure if he's just not, I don't really know what's going on with him. Like he, we were outside for a little bit and he wanted to, I actually am filling up his pool because I got that cleaned out it was all slimy and I asked him if he wanted to get in the pool and Cole normally is all for that so it was very weird that he wanted to go to bed so I hope he's not getting sick or anything I don't really know what's going on all right guys so we have a little bit left to finish off this vlog. I do apologize, this vlog was definitely not eventful. <laughs> but I'm in my bathing suit currently. Um, so Cole, I told you guys he wanted to go lay down a while ago, which was super early. Um, he got up, feels like he's running a fever. So I gave him some Tylenol and he wanted to go back to bed because I know it's not like Cole because if he was feeling well, he would have been out here in this pool right now. So I'm just going to go back inside, I think, for a little bit and maybe try to edit a little bit of my cleaning video. Looks like we might be getting a storm back here, but I feel bad for him that he is sick. Um, I also wanted to give you guys a little vacation updates. So you guys up north is all I'm going to say for now for privacy, re privacy reasons. And I've actually been there before, but it was a long time ago and I'm pretty stoked about it. But we got a beachfront um, hotel that's like right on the boardwalk and um, it's way cheaper than down where we was gonna go. We was gonna go to Myrtle Beach, but we changed it. So we're now going up north. So I'm so excited, um, but um, I haven't been there in a really long time. I'm not really sure if my husband's ever been there and it is a really awesome place, but we're going to be taking Cole with us. I think we're only going for like three nights, um, but it's going to be a lot of fun and there's tons of stuff to do. Not only just that, but we mainly want to go just to go to the beach and it have like beach days obviously, but there's also supposed to be like an aquarium and stuff to take Cole to so that will be fun but yeah I cannot wait to go but yeah I wanted to just let you guys know um that update and this is like seriously the third time that I've had to cancel reservations and re make one um thankfully I had free cancellation so if you ever book online get free cancellation because you just never know what's gonna go down so yeah i hope my son is okay i'm a little worried don't know why he's like not feeling well because yesterday he was fine so it's just really strange i don't know what's going on with him but i'm gonna keep a close eye go back inside for a little while and um i might just honestly end this video because it just wasn't very productive i want to start like a new vlog and maybe do make it a little bit more productive than this video was but Thank you guys so much for listening and watching this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned because we will have probably another vlog this week plus a 4th of July weekend vlog. I normally do one of those. So um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.